Hey Ross, where my money makes money, all different types of bonds. Now, for this particular video, I really have to look down a lot. I wrote some information because I want to give you as much accurate information on bonds. Now, bonds, once again, it's a loan to a corporation or to the government at a lower percentage than usually your stock because chances are you're going to get your money, <laughs> chances are you're going to get your money back. You will get your money back but it won't be exponential like the stock market. But this is how you really diversify your financial portfolio with investments and bonds because that because a bond is an investment as well. So please excuse me as I look down a lot, but nevertheless, have your ears open and get ready to learn some about these bonds. Now, let's talk about government bonds. When the U.S. government issue bonds, they're called treasuries. And these bonds typically mature in 10 to 30 years. The government also issue bonds with shorter maturities called T-bills. Maturity means the period after which the bond's original amount must be paid back, including any interest payments. I'm going to say that again. Have some spit in my mouth. <laughs> Maturity means the period after which the bond's original amount must be paid back, including any interest payments. Okay. So that's basically government bonds. I didn't want to give you every single detail. These are the basics, okay? Corporate bonds, okay? Corporate bonds. When companies issue bonds, they're called corporate debt. Companies of all kinds issue bonds, and they do it to fund their operations to conduct research and development and or to make acquisitions among other types. Companies typically pay more interest than the U.S. government for their debt. You hear what they said? Companies usually pay more interest for their bonds than the U.S. government for their debt for several different reasons, okay? One is that the interest on corporate debt is taxed. So to make up for that, businesses have to increase the yield on their bonds. Okay. Another reason is that corporate bond is also inherently more riskier than the government debt. Because with the government, you're going to get your money back, okay? It's a 99.9% .9 chance you get your money back with corporations working on the number. <laughs> All right, so that's basically about corporate bonds. Now you have what you call junk bonds, okay? Junk bonds. Now, if you say, hey, this name is kind of sketchy and it has me kind of weary, then it should because they're junk bonds, right? They're junk. Okay, junk bonds. Some companies issue bonds that are not considered investment grade, okay? Their bonds are referred to as junk bonds. In order to get investors to pay for these bonds, companies offer drastically higher interest rates or yields that makes the bonds more attractive to investors, but the investors can potentially have a higher rate of default. When a higher rate of default means you ain't getting your money back, bruh, okay? Hey girl, you ain't getting your money back because we don't have it. We didn't spend it on trying to increase the business. It didn't work out. And we can't get your money back. Default. <laughs> Which means they will not pay back the loan. Okay? Because once again, when you buy bonds, it's a loan to them. And they're supposed to pay you back. But I just went over the whole spiel and you got it. And I'm moving on. Okay. So, because as interest rates um, rise, bond prices tend to fall. Now, these bonds have low credit ratings. Okay? We're talking about junk bonds still. These Bonds have low credit ratings or no ratings at all because the companies issuing them may be experiencing serious financial troubles. So you really have to do your due diligence if you want to mess with junk bonds. Can you make money with junk bonds? Yes, you can. But they're very volatile. As I went over, I want to point out something that I read about them. These bonds have low credit ratings or no ratings at all because the companies issuing them may be it may be experiencing serious financial difficulties. So you have your government bonds, that's a sure bet. You have your corporate bonds and these corporate companies are solid companies that you should be buying bonds from. And then you have your junk bonds where the interest rates are really, really high. You can make a lot of money or you can lose it all. So even with those, I'm not going to tell you stay away from junk bonds because you may roll the dice and hit a seven or you may win the lottery when it comes to junk bonds. But I would tell you to really put some money into government bonds 
and put some money into corporate bonds. And you say, hey, Ross, where do I go to look for these bonds? Man, you know Google got a search engine. You can Google this stuff yourself. It's called research, my friend. And you should do it because it's your money. It's not mine. Now, if you give me some money, I research it all day for you. And I tell you where to buy some from. <laughs> this is Ross World. My money makes money. But today, basic bonds. I'm out.